Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video we are playing the Bonnie's Bakery DLC. Now this is brand new DLC which expands greatly the original Bonnie's Bakery game, which of course we played last summer. If you haven't seen a full playthrough of that game, then I'd recommend checking it out today. With that said guys, we're going to be diving into Bonnie's Bakery Night Mode. Now if you go over to this hammer here, you can see this is where we access the DLC. And it says you cannot hunt until you've reached the night mode. So basically, to get to the DLC, we have to complete the game once. Because I've already done a playthrough on the channel, what I'm going to do is quickly skip through the game to show you how it works again. And then we'll go straight into the DLC. So I'm going to kind of make a very short playthrough of the original. And then we'll get to the DLC and experience that afterwards. So without further ado, let's hop into Bonnie's Bakery and see what this new DLC has in store. Bonnie sweeps the floor and dusts the windows. Today is going to be another big day. Customers are already making a line outside of her bakery. She opens the door and they all scamper in. She looks at the crowd with a warm smile. A regular customer pops out of a crowd and gives Bonnie a friendly pat on the back. Hey Bonnie old friend, says Bear. I'd like to bake one of your famous red velvet cakes for an event coming up. You wouldn't mind sharing the recipe with a little old me now, would you? Ah, uh, oh Bear, you're so silly. A master chef never reveals her secret recipe. The two laugh heartily. Alrighty then, I'll stop bothering you. Just like that, Bear sits down with the rest of the customers. Right. Whew, looks like it's time to get baking, says Bonnie. Of course, little do they know that Bonnie is killing everyone and turning them into food, so uh, yeah, they're going to be eating some of their own kind right now. Let's get started. Welcome to Bonnie's Bakery. Help Bonnie serve hungry customers by serving up some tasty pastries. Okay, here we go. We're going to serve people in the bakery, so they want red velvet cake. So let's check this out. We need to uh, bring our recipe book up, that's it. And we need to find red velvet cake, which is here. So we need to get flour, sugar, uh, milk, eggs, fat, and red. And we all know what red is gonna be, right? Because we know what Bonnie is. She's a killer baker. So we're gonna mix that up. Put that in the tin, bake it. There we go, we've got one cake, so we give that to our patron over there. We've got someone else that wants a red velvet cake as well. So let's take our recipe out once more. We're gonna fly through these super quick. We need sugar, flour, eggs, milk, red fat. Mix in the oven. Oh, pour into the cake tin. I got it wrong, okay. And now we've got red velvet cake. Okay, here we go. So bring that over to him. Okay, next we need a donut. Ooh, okay, let's make the donuts. So, we're gonna go to our recipe book. We're gonna go to, oh, we needed the donut. There we go, white donuts. So for this, we need flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and fat. Mix it, put it on the board, roll it out. Then we use the cutter to make the donut. Bake it in the oven, then sprinkle it with some white. And I think we've got a donut, yes! So now we can give that to uh, this little character. Now we need to make... Is that like a bow bun or something? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have a look. Yeah, a little meat bun, although it says meat as in meat, not meat. Okay, so flour. What else? Milk and eggs. Mix. Bring some to the cutting board. Oh, bring meat to the cutting board and chop it. Bring the dough to the cutting board. Bake it in the oven. Hey, okay, I'm getting used to this again now. Oh, we just made it. Oh, we need to do a red velvet cake though. So we need all of this. Mix. In there, in there. Quick, quick, quick. Super fast. Hey. Okay, who wants what? Oh no, we need a donut. Man, this is so hard. I've even forgotten what the donut was. We can do this. We can do this still. Quick. It's frying my brain. Hey, we did it. Okay, just. Now we need one of these actual like weird pancake things. We need four of them actually. So let's go to that. Oh, it's a pastry. So we need flour, sugar, fat. Mix that. Then put that on there. Or oh, why's the music stopped? That's kind of gross. There we go. Oh, just in time. Okay, we need to make another one of those now. So, what was it? I need to remember what it was again. I think we're going to miss some of these guys. It's not going to be a perfect run. You know what? I'll do my best. So, sugar, flour, fat. Mix it. Put it on there. Roll it out. Fat on it. In the oven. 
Hey, okay. Who wants it? This one. Oh, okay, we're all done. I don't know how well we did there, guys. That was a bit, you know, clutch there. <laughs> Phew, all done, she says. Hey, rough day today, huh? That's okay. We all make mistakes sometimes. Hey, on the plus side, you can save on ingredient costs. Haha. <laughs> I guess I'm still getting the hang of things. I'm glad you opened a bakery. It's nice to have a place to relax and take my mind off things. Yeah, that's what you think, Bear. You're doomed. You're going to be locked in the basement soon. I never knew we lived in such a dangerous neighborhood. It's dangerous because of Bonnie. She's patrolling it. It's so scary. People are disappearing without a trace, almost as if they've been erased. Oh, it's definitely been scary. Stay safe out there, Bear. You too, Bonnie. See you around. Bye -bye. Of course. Bear leaves as Bonnie cleans up the bakery. Now, now then. All right. So it's been a busy day. <laughs> Time to get some fresh ingredients. Oh, man. That's the name of this DLC, by the way, guys. Fresh ingredients. So what we have to do now is, um, yeah, complete night mode. Look at this. So we're locked in the basement. Here's one of the, um, the poor characters. What? Another person? You, you can still move? You're still intact? Listen to me. Find Bonnie's notes and save yourself. She's hidden the key code, but if you can decipher it, you can escape through the door. It may be too late for us, but I wish you the best of luck. If you can... No, never mind. Good luck. Alright, guys. We need to find five pieces of paper and a mysterious piece of paper with question marks on it. So that's what we're doing here now. There's Bonnie, look. She's just on patrol, looking for us. So we need to... Oh! No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Ah! That's right, Bonnie. You just keep going. Right, guys. I'm running to get the next piece of paper. Oh, look at this guy. Huh? What are you doing here? Actually, I'm not surprised. You were always doing really weird things around this bakery. I guess you had the right idea all along. I'm sorry. It's alright, man. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh, there's another bit of paper. And another character. Is this... where she... Oh, man. Everyone's just dying. Our, um, stamina goes down so quickly as well. It's actually mad how quickly it goes down. I'm gonna quickly grab this. I'm going to keep going around, guys. There's a piece of paper here. We got that. Now we're going to make our way around here. There's a piece of paper here. Alright, I think we've got all of the papers. Let's have a quick look. No. She's found us. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. That was so close. Alright, let's look at the paper here. Let's look at the paper here. Let's not worry about going over there to look at the paper. We can actually read through this story again quickly. The first day I opened the bakery was the happiest day of my life. I was nervous that there wouldn't be any customers, but one person came in to eat. It looked like they didn't enjoy what I made, but maybe that's just the nerves talking. Yeah, that's just the nerves. It's been two weeks since I opened the bakery. I had to restock the pantry with eggs today. I bought a whole crate for just $9. What a steal. Sadly, no one came to eat. I guess the townsfolk don't really like my pastries. Three weeks and not a single customer. I'm going to have to close down at this rate. No one is interested in my baking. So why should I even bother? Someone knocked on the door. It was a bunny with seven terrible injuries. I let her stay inside my bakery to rest. Week four of having the bakery and things aren't getting any better. That poor bunny. I spent six hours trying to heal the injuries, but it's only getting worse. She keeps getting more and more anxious. I'm trying my best, but it's not enough. I hope she can get better soon. I'm going to keep trying. The final note. It's been five weeks now. I decided to open the bakery after a customer walked into my shop and asked what that wonderful smell was. The only things I prepared today were the buns. He called in four other friends to eat at the bakery. They enjoyed the buns so much. He said that he'd tell more people about my establishment. Yes, my dream is finally coming true. So you can see, guys, what happened there was she, of course, um, she says, I didn't know what to do. That's a secret note. 
It's got blood stains on it. You can see that she actually cooked the bunny that died under her care. And that gave her the idea, because everyone loved the food, of cooking more of the townsfolk. Kidnapping them, murdering them, putting them into this food. It's pretty sinister. But now we have the code, of course, so let's head over to the door. Okay, here we go. One, nine, seven, six, four. Let's go. We escaped. That was actually nerve-wracking, guys. She's all over us in that basement. So we're fleeing from the basement. This is one of the endings. You escaped from Bonnie's bakery, finally free from that horrifying place. Nothing can erase those terrible smells and screams from your memories. Nothing. You go to tell the townsfolk about Bonnie's crimes, and as you dashed away, you ran with such fear and vigour. But you failed to notice that the notes you had collected were slipping away into the wind. Bonnie watched you carefully from within her bakery, as you sprinted away too quickly for her to give chase. After an annoyingly slow day, Bonnie had swiftly taken care of the rest of her ingredients. She always felt better with a clean basement after all. Oh no, so all those other characters we spoke to, they ended up dying. She quickly disappeared into the cellar to finish the job and clear her mind. She didn't care that we escaped. She just, you know, she's like, I got my ingredients for tomorrow. You, on the other hand, would not have as much luck finding peace. Hmm, I don't know. That doesn't sound like something Bonnie would do. Yeah, this is a prank or something. You're seriously saying this stuff again? This is the last straw. The townsfolk ignored your plea. No one believes you, and some even call you a liar. Ever since that day, you lived in fear and paranoia. You live alone now, far away from that cursed town. But even though you've already thrown your old life away, you always have an aching suspicion that someone is watching you. Yeah, Bonnie's watching us from the dark. So this is ending four or five, a fear ending. But we are going to now access the DLC, which we should be able to do. Hey, look at this, moody. There's four little things at the bottom here. I don't know if that means like endings we can unlock, but we can hunt. So wait, are we playing as Bonnie now? That's what it's suggesting, right? First hunt, oh, or endless baking. Let's go on the first hunt. The ingredients are running low. All right. Looks like it's time for... Hunting, I guess, right? Oh man, what's going on? Look at this, this is cool. <laughs> Bunny to make an appearance. Oh, is that like her altar? She like puts on the mask and she's this like, has this alter ego which he uses for hunting. <laughs> All right, time to head out. I've got a few potential ingredients here on my list. It's hard to be so popular after all. I've got so many eyes on me, I can feel them watching me, constantly watching. I understand how they feel. They're jealous because the bakery's doing so well, but you can't be following me around like that. Silly ingredients. <laughs> she just refers to the townsfolk as ingredients. That's pretty funny. Now, who to pick? Oh, okay, so I guess we pick the first one, right? We've got four on the board. Before I jump into hunting, I should investigate my target first. Right. Let's see. I think I'll go with a cat. Let's do this. If I find any helpful hints, I'll be sure to update my whiteboard. Oh man, so we're gonna investigate the cat. Okay. This is uh this is cool. Definitely a, a bit of a change from the previous game we just played. Oh, look at this, we're in a town, it's 3D. There goes my target. I should keep an eye on it and see where it goes. Okay. I should be careful not to get too close though. Right. Once I finish my investigation, I'll head back here and go back to the bakery. Mm. Or I can scope out a town to acquire more information for my whiteboard. Okay, this is cool. Look at this. We're in the town. Um, I guess we just follow like they said. So the cat's in there at the moment. Is that right? It looks like it's talking to the pig. I should click on it. Am I too late? Is the promotion over? Yup, we're all out, unfortunately. No, the Miracle Girls 611 promotional figurine is a limited edition collectible. After this week, it's gonna be gone forever. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. We restock the figurines for the next day every night before closing. If you come back before we close up, I'll let you have one. <laughs> really? You've been coming back here every day so persistently, but I feel bad, so we know they come back persistently to the shop. Just don't tell anyone, okay? 
Thank you, thank you so much. I'll be sure to get back here close to closing time. And Bonnie says, so I'll be here pretty late. I'll make sure to take note of that. I'll write this down in my notebook. I love how she's just like diligently writing down where her target's gonna be. We're gonna murder them later, it's kinda nuts. Notebook is updated. Okay, so let's have a look at the notes. The cat, another fan of Miracle Girls. It has good taste. Hopefully it tastes good too, haha. <laughs> It's going to the 611 tonight. Maybe I should stop in too. Okay. Close that. So we go back. This is cool. So you click on a store and it has like a little hand drawn image. Now the cat's going over here this time. Got a group of people here as well. Don't know if we need to speak to them. Where did the cat go though? I've lost them. I've already lost the cat. Police over there. We probably don't want to get too close to them. There's a character over here. I don't know if I can speak to them. Yeah, I can. Oh, hello, Bonnie. It's the moose. Allow me to regale you with tales of my travels. Four years ago, I had an embarrassing encounter in the breakfast shop. The breakfast shop is, as everyone knows, the best place to enjoy a morning meal in the big city. I had just sat down to order my meal, and the restaurant was very busy, so I had to share a table with a gentleman I did not know. He was surprised to see a moose eating breakfast, but we soon found ourselves engaged in friendly conversation. Everything was going swimmingly until the waiter came in to take our orders. I ordered a stack of nine pancakes with maple syrup because I was very hungry. So the nine is coming in useful for something. Let's write that down, guys. But soon I was not hungry at all. I was afraid, afraid for my life. The gentleman across from me was a poacher. I heard it from his very mouth. To my horror, the waiter went along with his demands and left me alone with the poacher to get coffee. I tried to get up and run away, but the breakfast shop was too busy. There were too many people to move. I feared it was the end for me and my travels. The waiter returned with the coffee and our meals were put on our plates in front of us. The gentleman's plate had an egg on it. A poached egg. It was all just a big moose understanding. <laughs> Very funny. Well, we got a number out of that, guys. The number nine. Wait, what the heck? Why did that creepy ass music just play and he disappeared? We've now got the number nine. That's very strange. I feel like there's a lot more to this game than meets the eye. We need to try and find the cat though. So let's have a look for the cat. If we see any more figures in red, we'll click on them and we'll see if we can get more numbers. I will expose you, what the heck, who's writing those? Is that the person that escaped writing that? Ooh, look at this place, Heart Throbbing Endless Love Bakery. Wait, where am I again? Can we go in here? Hmm. I shouldn't stalk the competition like this. They'll think I'm jealous. Yeah, this is the competition's bakery. It's a pretty grand establishment right here. Phew, I have to start exercising more. So they have for little conversations as well, these characters. Hey, 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 what the heck? Guys, I just clicked on that sign and it came to life. Hey, 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 hey. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> it scared me a little bit. Oh, let's talk. Mouse Kid one hey, wanna hang out in the arcade today? Nah, I'm busy today. Maybe tomorrow. Oh man, Bonnie, do you wanna go to the arcade? Oh, I'm not very good at video games. I hope you kids can go tomorrow though. I guess I can go alone. Whoa. Guys, if you, if you walk into this corner, the whole screen kind of glitches out. That's really weird. Why is this happening? <laughs> Can I do anything with that? Oh, I jumped out of bounds. What the heck? Um, okay. Oh, there's a treasure map. Treasure. So, wait, is this showing like, it's showing a building that's like an L shape, but a backwards L. And in the middle window, there should be a treasure, but only at night, it says. It's got two cones in front of it. Okay, let's go back. Let's try and see where that building is. We need to find a building with two cones. Oh, guys, I think it's this one. I think I was supposed to be in the purple district. Okay. Will you just keep looking around? Look, there should be a treasure in this building, I think. This is the L-shaped building, backwards L, by the two traffic cones. So this is the building we want. Now, there should be a treasure there, but I think it said at night. So we'll come back here at night. Oh, there's another red character here. Maybe we talk to them. Let's talk. Hey, did any of you hear the news? Another person's gone missing recently. 
Oh my, that's horrible. Bonnie knows exactly what's going on. The phone mouse says, I should probably stop going out so late, but I only have free time once the day's over. And the meme mouse says, hmm, I'm just saying, if I see a kidnapper or whatever, I'm going to pepper spray them immediately. Um, how would you know if someone's a kidnapper or not? I can tell if they act suspicious, obviously. Going for the pepper spray that quickly seems a little dramatic. I'd personally just call the police on the spot. Right in front of them? I'd probably hide first. Oh, I don't know how I'd act if I saw someone suspicious at night. I'd probably just run around screaming my head off. You'd scare a ton of people if you did that. Well, I guess alerting everyone else that way isn't too terrible either. Man, you guys are so dramatic. Whiteboard updated. Why is the whiteboard updated? I guess it's just like exposing their motivations. Maybe we just check our notes. Let's have a look. Look, here's the whiteboard. We can check this on the whiteboard now. I need to remember to watch out for those red mice. Getting pepper sprayed sounds annoying. It will slow me down. I should avoid being seen by these ones. I should watch out for the green one as well. If it calls the police, I'll have less time to hunt before I need to leave. Ah, oh, so the different mice do different things. It would be bad if I stuck around after the police are called. They might catch me. And the yellow one will attract the attention of others with all of its screaming. At least the brown one will run and hide before it calls. That'll give me more time to bonk it to keep it quiet. And if I bonk any mice before they can finish their call, I won't need to worry about the police. The life of a baker sure is hectic. So if the mice see us, we have to kill them apparently? Oh, wait, what is this? What the heck? Guys, is this a secret? What is this? These are all the things we can make at Bonnie's Bakery, of course, for bun, the donut, red velvet cake, and the pastry. Can I do anything here? Or is this just a little secret? This is very weird. All right, I think that's just a secret, guys. Ooh, there's an Easter egg over here. Can we get to that? Out of bounds? I want to get to that Easter egg. How do we do this? We just entered this shop, though. Who's this? The smell of coffee sure is pleasant. I hope they don't try selling pastries or anything here. <laughs> yeah, more competition. Okay, so we can't go in there yet. That's a coffee shop. I like the art in this game. It's very cool. Arcade. Ooh, can we go in the arcade? Yeah, look at this. Wait, is that the bear? It didn't see me, did it? I should be more careful. I could have been recognized. Okay, so we don't want to be seen by the bear. Look, there's police here. Do I speak to the police? Let's talk. <laughs> We're hiding from behind the tree. Head wolf. Remember, if you see any suspicious individuals, make sure to interrogate them. If they walk off in the middle of the interrogation, taser them. Isn't that a little excessive, sir? If they walk away during an interrogation, that's a red flag. We can't take any risks considering the circumstances. Understood, sir. Good to know, says Bonnie. So yeah, whiteboard updated. So, the police will taser us. Those police wolves sure are scary. If they go to interrogate me, I'll need to keep still or else I'll get tased. I could always try to run before they tase me, but if I don't get away fast enough, it'll be too late. I guess I'll do what I can to avoid them. Yeah, basically just trying to avoid them, I think. How do I get in? Oh, here's the cat. She's in here, the town hall. Let's have a look. Cat says, wait, you said I had to pay how much? Well, the school said you'd be willing to fix the misprinted sign and repainting the plywood should cost around $250, sir. Oh, it's a sir cat. A measly $250? How will it look like a charitable donation if I only pay $250? Plywood really isn't that expensive, sir. Tell them I'm going to replace their dingy plywood sign with a large grand monument sign. That should cost much more. Unfortunately, you'll have to discuss this with the school faculty themselves, as this is their sign you plan on redesigning. Unbelievable. This is simply preposterous. After I take care of some other business, I'll be sure to air this grievance to them immediately. The grey cat's like, yeah, sure, have a nice day. <laughs> that poor town hall cat. But it plans to stop somewhere else before the school tonight, huh? Noted. Okay. So now if we check our notebook, we can obviously see... Oh, look, the cat's right there. Now the cat's going this way. We just follow them at a distance. 
Oh, we've got inside the restaurant. Okay, let's go. Raccoon says, uh, hey, how are you, sir? Though, if I may be so bold, I was wondering why you've ordered something on the lighter side today. Ah, oh, yes, I'll be going to the bakery later tonight, you see. Oh, would you be referring to Bonnie's Bakery by any chance? What? Of course not. I won't be caught dead eating there. Excuse me? What? Says Bonnie. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was any other bakery near here. This is why people value my opinion so highly. I know all of the best places. Is this bakery close by? Why, it's just round the block from the school. Surely you've heard of a place before? I'm afraid I haven't, sir. Well, now you have. And you should give it a visit. I'm sure you'll enjoy it much more than Bonnie's Bakery. I'll have to see it for myself. Huh, I was right to pick this target. Let's do this. So it's going to be the other bakery, is it? I'll make sure that meal is his last. <laughs> Let's get him. It looks like the target is leaving now. I think they're heading back. Okay. I should either wrap up this investigation or search the town for more information. Okay. So, let's have a look at our notebook. And you can see the cat's actually going around here. Oh. Wait, where did the cat go? It just disappeared. We did say it's going to the bakery, so the schedule is other bakery first, then the school, and lastly is the uh, 611 comic store. We've got the full itinerary for the cat. Look, there's a policeman over here. Don't worry everyone, we'll make sure to have plenty of officers patrolling throughout the town at night. If any of you see a suspicious individual, make sure to give us a call. Huh, I better be careful. So we've got another note on the whiteboard now. Another little tip. I should be careful not to look too suspicious. If any mice call the police on me, I'd need to hurry. I don't want to be caught by the police. I need to leave before they arrive. If I keep my distance and don't do anything suspicious while mice are nearby, I should be fine. Cool. More information from the whiteboard then. Which is good. Anyway guys, I've been looking for secrets for ages and I think I've explored thoroughly here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head on back and end this investigation. We'll come back then at night and see if we can uh, track down our prey. So I think we want to head back this way to Bonnie's Bakery, right? This way to Bonnie's Bakery? Yep. Am I done investigating or should I keep searching for a little longer? I'm going to end the investigation. Alright, right, time for some practice. Okay. It's a good thing I always keep extra ingredients on hand for test hunting. Now then, now then let me see if we can get the swing of things again. Okay. I'll come back to the keypad when I'm ready to leave. Alright. Oh, look at that. Alright. Oh. oh, my old radio, it still works after so long. <laughs> it's a little broken though. Okay. So what are these? Sacks of meat, I'm guessing. Wait, what's that sound? <laughs> oh, he's running. Okay. Oh, we've got a police officer there. Okay, so it's like a, a tutorial ground. We've got a little notebook. Reminder to self, pull out the hammer by right-clicking. Oh, there we go. Bonk people with a left hammer by left-clicking. There we go. Bonk. Oh, we got them in the bag. Put the hammer away by right-clicking again. So what do we do with these bags then? Reminder to self, having a hammer out is pretty suspicious. And I guess my bag is too. Oh, and so is the mask. Maybe I just shouldn't get too close. Yeah, because everyone will recognize her in this sort of attire with the bags and stuff. So don't get too close to these guys. So we just drop the bag where we want. Reminder to self, don't let them call the police. If the police are called, I'm not going to have a lot of time to bag my ingredient. If an animal starts to call, I should deal with it. Okay. Like this one. <laughs> ah, this mouse is a silly surprise. I should be careful though, because the actual mice are much meaner. If they pepper spray me, it won't be as fun as confetti. I would probably get stunned and slowed down a lot. I better avoid these mice. Though, my targets will also have pepper spray, so I should be quick to bag them. Ah! Die. Oh, doesn't work. Okay. We've got a note here. Oh yeah, look, there's six to collect. Let's see if we can collect all the notes and then I'll read them at the end. Reminder to self. Catch the ingredient quickly. After all, bunnies are fast. Drop the ingredient bag by right-clicking. 
Ah, okay, so we've dropped the bag there. Another note. Reminder to self, in emergencies, throw a rock near animals to distract them temporarily. So we pick up a rock, and then we throw it. There you go. Didn't really work that well, but you get the idea. Ah! Die! There we go, we got him. Knocked him out. He's unconscious. Reminder to self, only bag for target. If I tried to get every ingredient I saw, I wouldn't have enough arms to carry them. So yeah, some of them we can only knock out by the look of it. We've got another note there. Okay, let's head out. Let's see if we can read all the notes we've collected now. And of course, we've got the policeman here. Okay. Right, I should probably practice what to do if I run into the police again. If they try to ask me anything, I'll just stand really still and answer all of their questions. Whoa. Better be careful though. If they make a wrong move, they might try to arrest me. <laughs> if I'm fast enough or catch them when they're not looking, a good bonk will keep them out of the way. Mm. But it's risky to have a hammer out near them. Um. I probably shouldn't let them see me carrying any ingredients either. Mm. If I were to drop a bagged ingredients around a police wolf, it would not bag it. Uh. And it could help any other ingredients I've bonked. Hmm. <laughs> I should just avoid the police altogether. Alright. Oh, interrogation in progress. We've got to wait here, guys, until the bar fills up. The real police won't be a problem if I keep this up. Okay, we've done it. Now let's go and read these notes. This is the last one, I think. So let's check them out. Bear is so nice, I'm glad he was the first customer. To be honest, ever since my family disappeared one day, he's been the closest thing to a family that I've had here. Although I miss human connection sometimes, I feel that animals are way nicer. I heard the phones nowadays can do a lot of things. Maybe if I had a phone back then. Oh, never mind. Anyway, one of my customers said that social media promotions are really important for small businesses. I should really buy a phone one of these days. Hmm, but I don't have a lot of time in my tight schedule. Oh well, I'll get to it eventually. I typed in the passcode for my keypad wrong too many times, so I had to change it again. But then the notes I wrote to keep track of it were wrong, so I had to rewrite those too. At least my basement is secure. When I first brought the building from my bakery, it wasn't very bakery-like. I thought those renovations were going to take forever. At least the basement ended up coming in handy. Recently, it feels like there's been someone watching me. They aren't trying to figure out my secret ingredient, right? Hmm, this is really troublesome. Go mind your own business, meanie. And then the final note says, One day, a few officers walked into the bakery and asked me some questions. I was so scared at first, but it didn't seem like they were taking the interrogation very seriously. Apparently, there's been someone that's been filing the same report again and again to investigate my bakery. Looks like they were just doing this so that she'd finally stop bothering them. Phew. So that's probably the person that escaped right at the end of... Uh, the main game, of course. Okay, well, let's keep going then. So what we're going to want to do now, guys, is I think head back out. We uh, have learned the ropes, so to speak. We know what we're doing, so we can head back out. And um, end practice. There we go. All right, so now we start the hunt for the cat. Okay, so we're in the town at night. It's time to uh, hunt down our cat. So this is the last place the cat's going to arrive at, which is the 611. So in theory, if we just wait until like the cat shows up here, we don't have to go into the town where all those mice are. So you can see all the mice on patrol, there's going to be police as well. What the heck? Do they instantly spot us? That seems a bit unfair. They like just beeline to us as soon as we go near them. Like, what the heck? Can we hide in the bushes? Maybe if we hide in the bushes, they won't see us, right? Oh my god, I'm really scared. There's the cat, it's going past. It's just standing there. We're gonna get him now. We're gonna get him. There we go, we got him. Right, now run. Run. That was good, that was well played. Now we just run to the exit. You can't run with a bag though, you can only walk. We've gotta walk to the exit. Nice, I did it. And there we go, ingredient collected. Success! Look at that, guys. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so we'll continue. And we'll move on to the second phase, which is this character, hunt the bunny or investigate the bunny. We'll investigate him first. We'll figure out, you know, his moves. There's the bunny there. So where's he going? He's gone in the arcade. 
Let's see what he says. He swears, and he says, huh? You're having some trouble there. Ah, sorry. What has you so frazzled? This old retro game you got recently, it's so old that I can't find anything about it. Hmm, what kind of information are you looking for? Just like, how do I do a combo? I feel like I'm just mashing buttons and there's no instructions. Ah, well in that case, you have to go to the library. There's a pretty old book there that has a section on the game, if I remember correctly. Really? Oh, thanks for letting me know. I would say that I'll be right back, but I have to work soon. Oh, you're not speeding over there right after work like usual? No, I'm going to dinner with my friends tonight. We're going to that fancy Italian bistro. Make sure you got something for me. Ha, I'll see what I can do. I'm sure I'll be back sometime tonight. Okay. That bistro, huh? Good to know. So we've got the notebook updated. We go to our notes. I wish I knew how to play video games. I guess gaming makes you hungry though. Better check out the bistro later. Okay, cool. So we know where they're going, kinda. Now, where's Bunny going? Heading down this way. Public library, okay, so we follow it to the public library. Library cat says, will this be all you're checking out for today? Yup, just this, thank you. Wombo combo, tips and tricks for comboing your enemies, huh? Are you a fan of martial arts? Oh, no, no, no. I was just, uh, it's for a game at the arcade. I see, well, this book will be due two weeks from now, so you'll have plenty of time to study up. Hopefully I won't need it for that long. I'll be going back to the arcade tonight after dinner. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Bistro, then arcade. Oh, what a busy bunny. Okay, so we've got our notebook updated again. I guess it's going to the arcade later then after the bistro. Yep. Let's exit. Now let's see what the bunny wants to do. Let's go back this way. Where are you headed next, Mr. Bunny? This way. We'll follow you. Down here. And through here, okay, to the town hall. All right, let's check this out. Hello. Oh, you're back again. I'm sorry, but there aren't any updates about your sister. Ah, I figured. I thought I just might check in again. If we have any news, I promise we'll let you know. Thanks. Oh God, look, the missing person. Wasn't this the character we played as in the original game? This is a missing person, huh? Hmm. hmm, it's my sister. She's been missing for some time and... Meet me at the cafe tonight, kid. Huh? You want to know what happened to your sister? I can help. Oh no, we're going to get caught, guys. He's going to tell us all about Bonnie's Bakery. I have plans tonight, so... Late. Never. It's up to you. But I'll be at that cafe. Uh, I'm going home. Hmm. That person. I've seen them around my bakery. It's a good thing I was already planning on hunting this bunny. I'll deal with that person another time. Huh? Wait, they're meeting at the cafe later? Won't it be closed? Let's do this. I think that was the last stop. I can stop investigating now or scope out the town. All right, notebook's updated. So we kind of know their schedule now. If we look at our little um, itinerary here, we've got bistro, arcade, and cafe. And of course the cafe, if they do go there, they're going to be meeting with the person that escaped from Bonnie in the original game. I think maybe what we do now, guys, is head back to Bonnie's Bakery. We can always do a video looking at the secrets another time. I just kind of want to get through the game, see what happens. So let's head back to Bonnie's Bakery and end our investigation. And now we get to hunt the bunny. Look at this. All right. So let's have a look at our itinerary. We need to go to the bistro first. Problem is, there's going to be mice all over the town, right? Just run around here. Oh, hello. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, now where's... Oh, there's the bunny. There's the bunny. Get him. We got him. Okay, now we go, now we go, now we go. Oh, the police is there. The police is there, the police is there, the police is there. No, no, we got tasered. Oh, that's really hard. Okay, so um, retry, I guess. Yeah, a bit too hasty there, perhaps. Man, that's actually tough. 
I don't really know what you do in that situation. I guess you try and like make sure you're not grabbing the bunny in the open. If the police do stop us and they haven't seen us do anything, then we just um, answer their questions, don't we? We just wait and let the investigation go. There we go. We're fine. There you go. We answered their questions. Stop pepper spraying us, what the heck? Imagine you just pepper spray an innocent bystander walking about. Because let's be honest, they don't know that anything uh, you know, untoward is happening right now. What the heck? Stop spraying me! This is insane, man. Right, come here. We got them. We've got them. Now we just need to get back. So we need to avoid all of the, the mice. Oh, God. All right, let's just go. There's nothing we can do now. They're going to get the police, of course, but we've just got to keep going. I don't remember which... Oh, my God. No, man, this is so difficult. Oh, they're meeting. Right, we've caught him. Now we just need to kind of head around here. Man, I need to get back, but there's like characters all over the place. No. This is so difficult. Alright, the police are coming, guys. We're gonna have to be very careful here. We've got 56 seconds. Oh no! Man, everyone's seen us. Everyone has seen us. My only hope is that we can maybe get to the top of a map and there's no police up here. But we've only got like 39 seconds left anyway until we get busted. Come on, come on. Let me out of here, let me out of here. 29 seconds, come on, we can do this. We can do this. There's the exit, I think we've got this, guys. That was really tricky. And we're done. Ingredient collected, success, there we are. Woo! Okay. So now we're on to the third of four targets. We actually saw that target meeting with a person that escaped from a bakery. Um, I don't know like if we can like listen in, eavesdrop on their conversation. Investigate the dog. Let's do the dog next, Van. There he is. Where's the dog going? Oh, look, there's another one of those mooses. I missed the one on night two, though, is the only issue. Hello, Bonnie. Allow me to regale you with tales of my travels. Three years ago, something terrible happened to me. I was exploring a big city trying to learn my way around when I saw another moose. Imagine my surprise to see another moose in a big city. I thought they were all hibernating. He invited me for a drink, which I of course accepted. We discussed many matters. We talked for five hours about all kinds of things, so we need five. When evening had arrived, it was dark outside, and he said goodbye and went to pay for the drinks. To my dismay, he had stolen my wallet and left his moose costume behind. He was not even a real moose. I felt so stupid. I fell for his moosquerade. And then the music goes all crazy, doesn't it? And he disappears. If there's something to do with this moose and the numbers, the numbers that he gives us. Anyway, let's check this out. Dog says, hello, I'm here for free espressos, the caramel mojito, and the cafe americano, and five vanilla lattes. Whoa, will you have enough hands for all that? I'll make do. Are you sure you'll be able to carry all of this? If you'd like, we can help you deliver this to wherever you need it. I don't want to trouble you. It's no trouble, I'll call someone over to help you. Thank you so much, I'm headed to the bistro. I'm sure your coffee will taste great after all of this effort, though. Ha, <laughs> I'm not going to have any. These aren't for me, after all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, it's nothing really. Uh, I'm going to my friend's bakery later tonight anyway, so who needs coffee? Whoa, you're friends with Bonnie? Huh? No, no, I'm, uh, late. I'm going to be late. Thank you for the help. I'm going to take these and go. So she's not even going to Bonnie's bakery after all. I mean, I don't blame uh, the dog, considering, you know, like, what's happening there, but still. He says, oh, have a nice day. Another one going to that other bakery? I thought it was always empty over there. Oh. Whatever. It's going to the bistro next, so I should follow it. Okay. Notebook's updated. We don't need to read that right now. Just head to the bistro. Follow the dog. There we go. 
You can talk to these characters. Have you heard about Abby at all? She hasn't been answering our calls. Honey, you don't think... No, no. We can't lose another one. Hmm. Right, where's the dog gone next? In here, by the look of it. I'm sorry for being late. Late? You're going to apologise for being late? Some of us had no coffee for a whole 10 minutes into this meeting. I apologise. And not only that, but someone from the coffee shop dropped off most of the drinks. How much did that extra labour cost? I don't believe I was charged for it. Maybe you weren't, but you're working on company time. We'll be docking that from your pay. But sir, I don't want to hear your excuses. What a horrible boss this is. You can make yourself useful by delivering these documents to the town hall. Now go. Understood. Huh? Oh right, still have to change that ringtone. Oh hey, hey, uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, we still checking out that creepy church later? What? You scared? Yeah, okay, see you later. Just gotta survive these next few hours. Hmm, hmm the church. What could it want from there? Okay. Maybe I can get more information if I follow it to the town hall. Alright, so we got another notebook update. It's going to the bad bakery and then the church later. What a weird combo. It's kind of a weird combo, isn't it? Let's go and talk to these guys. See if they've got any new info. This is horrible. Keep your phones on you. Phones are worthless in this situation. You guys would find me, right? Don't fight everyone. Make sure to stay together. Hmm. They're all just having a little chat there. A little chin wag. The police, what are they saying? So we're all clear on the protocol. Yes, sir. They just can't make things easy for me, can they? Right, the dog's gone to the town hall next, so let's check in at the town hall. Dog says, hello, I'm here to deliver some forms. Cat says, ah, oh, great to see you again. I hope they're not working you too hard over there. I'm surviving. <laughs> at least you can relax at home when your work's over. Actually, I'm hanging out with my friend tonight, so no relaxing for me yet. One that owns a bakery, but not Bonnie? Yup, that's the one. It's been pretty dangerous recently, so I hope you and your friend get home before it gets dark. It'll be fine. I'll walk my friend home after we're done hanging out. Well, just make sure to stay safe out there. I will. Thanks for always chatting with me when I have stuff to deliver. Of course, have a nice day. I guess I should apologise in advance. You won't be having a very safe night after all. But that's what you get for supporting the wrong bakery. You would have done it anyway, Bonnie, let's be honest. Let's do this. That hasn't changed anything. I don't think tailing it will give me any more information, so it's time to end the investigation. Right, so we've got our itinerary for the night, which is Dumb Bakery Church and drop off a friend somewhere. Okay. So guys, what I think I'm going to do now is just head straight back and see if we can get night three done. And then I think after that, we've only got like one more night to do. And then we'll have done the basic story of the DLC, but I'm guessing there's probably multiple endings and also probably lots of secrets. Uh, we'll end the investigation for now, though, just to kind of get through the game in this video. And then we'll see what happens next. So, target progress, it's at the top. Are you going to try and pepper spray me? Let's check our itinerary again. Dumb Bakery first. So the Dumb Bakery is all the way down here. Sounds like they've reached their first destination. We've got to stop and answer the police's questions first, though. Good evening, officer. Nothing to see here. Hey, nice. All right, so they should have gone to the other dumb bakery over here. Don't see them. Oh, my God. Let's just um, run. Don't know where the dog's gone, actually. Oh, he's gone to the next place already. Get away from me! Get away walking towards me and getting... No! What the heck? The dog's seen us. Okay, okay, just chill. Just chill. Why have we been tased? This game makes no sense. I guess if the target sees you, you get tased. But this is, this is so difficult. I almost think it's easier just to run in, grab the target, and hope that you don't get caught on the way out, because 
the game's not very well balanced um, at the moment. Like, I honestly just... Look, I've been spotted by the police, so now I have to stay here um, and I have to wait. It's kind of frustrating. I honestly think they should have programmed it so that the mechanics work around if you're seen doing something suspicious, not if you're just seen walking about the town at night. Because let's be honest, it's not... It's not no, It's not weird to be walking around the town at night, is it? Like, you don't pepper spray someone for just walking about the streets. Come on. There's the dog over there. Alright. No, I'm honestly not doing anything wrong, am I? So the dog's coming this way now. It's going down here. We need to follow the dog to the church because I think if we do that, we'll have an easier time, like, bagging him. Do I seriously have to wait and answer your questions? Look, I'm just going shopping, all right? Uh, not shopping, uh, to a bar for a drink, because it's night time. All right, the dog's down here. What is happening? Man, I, this is so weird. Come on. Give me a break. Give me a break here. I don't even know where the dog's gone now. What? Oh, game over target escapes. Okay, so that time the dog got away, but it, it's just because, like, you don't get time for any of this stuff. I think maybe the best thing to do is to go to the church and wait there because the church is kind of nearer to us. But the dog's over there. Man, we need to get to the dog. He's just over there and he's in a really good spot for us to grab him. So can you hurry up this interrogation, please? Stop. Stop spray painting me. This is actually nuts. No! Oh man, the dog has run off again. All right, I'm going. Run! All right, guys, hopefully we can get out now. I've managed to get the dog. Get out of my way. We just got to make our way around here. Head up here. I think we might have done it. That actually took me ages. They've way overpopulated the map with enemies. And they attack for no reason, so it's kind of frustrating, but... We've almost made it out. This is like the third of four victims, so to speak. We made it. So we've done the first three. Now we've got one left. So we investigate the panda. I'm not looking forward to this now. <laughs> There's the panda. Let's see if we can get this done, though. Public library. Let's go. Here she is. Bonnie says, it's reading. Wait, I'm not going to learn anything from that. Okay, maybe you speak to this guy. Hello? Bonnie, good to see you. Oh, is that a detective? I don't usually get a chance to talk to them. Ha, huh, good luck getting any conversation out of that one. Now I think about it, he's here early today. He usually doesn't get here until later. Later? Yes. He's quite the night owl, this one. He's usually here at night with a cup of coffee in hand. I see. Are you curious about the detective? Of course, I love getting to know the folk who are doing so much to protect our little town. Aw, oh, how sweet. Oh, he left a stack of books behind again. I guess I should go and clean those up. Bye. I'll leave you to it then. Goodbye. Bye, Bonnie. Have a good day. Okay. So, it'll be here later. I'll make a note of that. Okay. I should see where it goes next. So, we have to learn from other people. Now, it's getting a little bit trickier. So, it looks like the panda's going this way. I'm also going to be on the lookout for, like, maybe those red mooses again. Yeah, there it is, look, the red moose. Let's go and speak to it. Hello, Bonnie. Allow me to regale you with tales of my travels. Five years ago, I was alone in the forest. The other me sat to go into hibernation, but I did not want to hibernate. I wanted to see the world, so I booked a ticket to the big city, but the airport was very far away. So I hired a goober driver, but the pickup spot was still far away. So I stowed away on a train, which would then take me to a pickup spot for the goober which would then take me to the airport, where the plane would take me to the big city. Unfortunately, security was very tight at the train station. I had to sneak past five guards to get into the very back car. Hmm. So we've got two fives this time. The Camus. <laughs> and there he goes. So wait, is that like a code that's just made out of fives we've got? I think it might be. You are welcomed into our family, the All-Seeing Eye Foundation. It's very strange. I don't know what that's to do with yet. Anyway, let's go into the school, or shul as it's called. Thank goodness you're here, detective. Would you like to have a seat? 
that will be unnecessary. What seems to be the issue? It's for children. Some of the children have been absent for a while. And with all the missing people recently, I can't help but worry. How long have they been missing? It's been over a week now. After calling their parents, we knew something wasn't right. I see. Please, detective, help our students feel safe again. I'll do my best. I will file a missing person report for each missing child at the town hall tonight. Please give me any photos you have of them. Of course, detective, thank you. Huh? huh. I don't remember hunting for ingredients near the school. I guess that's why everyone's been on high alert recently. Ah, oh, it might be the other bakery is using the children from the school. So they're kind of like doing what Bonnie's doing? That'd be a good twist. Huh. It's leaving again. Time to follow it. Good to know it's going to the town hall later. All right. Let's look at our notebook so far then. Library and town hall. Funny how she's kind of writing this down this time as well. Right, where's the panda going next then? Let's try and find them. Oh, it's gone into the 611. Pig says, ah, oh, pardon my rudeness, sir, but this is the seventh day in a row you've bought these burritos. Yes. Is that all you've been eating? Of course not. Thank goodness. I will also be getting a coffee later. Burritos and coffee for dinner? It's fortunate that the cafe is open at night. Will you make it? They still close somewhat early. Don't worry. It'll be my first stop. That's not what I'm worried about, though. All right. All right, I think I've gathered all the information, says Bonnie. We can track it later. Since it's a detective, I should be extra careful. So our notebook's updated, and it says Cafe, Library, Town Hall. Okay. Well, let's go, then. So the cafe, library, and town hall. The library's around here. The library's probably going to be the hardest to um, to nab him at because it's in the middle of the street where everyone can see. And the town hall also could work, maybe. This is going to be a tricky one, guys, but we'll go and give it our best shot. I will say this game has been like super difficult and quite frustrating so far, so I hope I'll be able to beat it, but I can't make any promises. Let's give it our best shot. So... End investigation for now, yes. Now let's go hunting for a panda. Right, here we go, guys, the last target. Let's see if we can find that panda. Police are on patrol nice and early. So, oh, hello. I want to try and run past these guys. Run, run, run. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Okay, they pull out a gun and shoot us if a panda sees us. So we've definitely got to sneak up on the panda. <laughs> we got him. He actually ran straight to us. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Run, 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 run. Run. Guys, we might have done it. This is actually insane. I think we got very lucky there, but you know what? I don't care. I'm getting out. We've captured him. And we've escaped. Nice. I did it. Every ingredient collected. Okay, good. Let's go. Are we going to get the ending now? We're going to get an ending by the look of it. Phew. Phew. All right. I think that should be enough ingredients for next week. There's still that person who's been trying to snoop around and investigate me. <laughs> I should take care of that soon. She's unhinged, isn't she? Like, well and truly. Wait, what's happening? Bonnie opens the door and leaves the bakery. Tomorrow is going to be another big day. Huh. So that's, yeah, that's the DLC. So I'm guessing in the next DLC that they make, or the next chapter or whatever, we're going to be, like, hunting down the person that escaped at the start. You know, the, the person that fled the bakery and has been trying to cause all this trouble for her. Uh, we saw them earlier. It's like the purple character who had this clandestine meeting with one of the characters there that we uh, bagged up. But yeah, guys, that was uh, the DLC. It was kind of interesting. I liked the idea behind it, but the execution left a lot to be desired. That was, like, one of the most frustrating games I've played in a long time. Um, just because it's unbalanced. Like, there's so many enemies all over, and they just get triggered just by seeing you. 
So there's no like, oh, you've done something wrong, so we're now suspicious of you. It's just like, no, if you walk past them, you get seen. And there's just like floods of them everywhere. So what I would say is maybe to the developer is, t is change that so that they only suspect you if you're doing something suspicious. It doesn't seem to me like that's how the mechanic works currently. But with that said, it was a cool idea. I do like the general like hand-drawn art style of this game and I like what it's going for and appreciate the developers. Obviously, they gave me a slightly early copy of this game, although I am actually playing it after it's come out because I just hadn't got time to get to it. Uh, but appreciate them for giving me the little heads up that it's coming out. And that's Bonnie's Bakery, guys. A little refresher on the original game there and, of course, the DLC included. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.